the two major kinds of chokes. This is actually pretty important for self-defense because one kind of choke is more dangerous to me legally and is also somewhat less effective. The two basic kind of chokes attack different parts of the neck. The first attack the front, the trachea, where you breathe. So we call this air. And the second attacks the jugular veins and the carotid arteries on the side of the neck. This is blood. So examples, it's not always completely clear cut which is which, but if I go old school guillotine right across the front of the throat, get my hips in and arch, I'm not cutting off Richie's blood. No, 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 I was crushing the trachea. Yeah. Crushing the trachea. If I held that long enough, you'd be unable to breathe. Yeah, breathe. Sure. He would eventually go unconscious, but it'd be more painful and it would last a long time, take longer to put him unconscious. And also, if you crush the trachea, there's a greater chance that it's not going to uncrush itself. The cases, to my knowledge, where police departments have been prosecuted for killing people with, you know, neck restraints, mostly it has to do with coming across the front of the neck by accident. Maybe these cops in question were using their billy club. I know that that's happened. Maybe they didn't know about hand placement. So that would be an example of a choke going across the front of the throat. If I go deeper on that guillotine and put essentially his chin in line with my elbow and now go across here, it's a reverse rear naked choke and I squeeze, so hopefully the pressure yeah, is oh yeah, inside yeah, of the yeah. neck, yeah. you start feeling a bit sure. woozy yeah, yeah, yeah. and it wasn't as much pressure no, 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 on the front bad. of the throat. Yeah. Similarly, if I'm behind Richie and doing the rear naked choke, depending on his neck, depending on his neck and the shape of my arm, there can be some pressure on the front of the throat, but this is a blood choke, whereas if you go across the front of the throat, say with a judo short choke type of thing, 100% air. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And pain. It is pain, yeah. So the shortcomings of that second choke, the short choke, where you're coming across the front of the throat, it's a good choke, but first of all, if he's crazy hyped up on adrenaline, he might not feel it as much. Secondly, it, you can hold your breath a lot longer than you can go without blood to the brain. Blood to the brain is five to 10 seconds, Air, you can probably hold your breath for 30, 40, 50 seconds. So this on the side is faster. Now it's not 100% clear cut. If I go for the rear naked choke on Richie, depending on the shape of my arm, the shape of my forearm, the shape of his throat, there can be some pressure on the front of his throat, but most of it is on the side. So whatever chokes you learn, figure out if they're air or blood. Figure out if they're on the side of the neck or the front of the neck and just keep it in mind that it's better to attack the sides for many different reasons it's faster it's less painful for your training partners and it's probably safer legally now none of this is to say that in your state in your province in your country that choking somebody unconscious is a safe thing to do legally in some places it's akin to shooting somebody right so one step before shooting somebody it's considered the same kind of lethal attack it's just for him. This information is purely for entertainment purposes only. I do not condone or recommend choking anybody or fighting anybody at any time for any reason, except of course, if you have to.